Alright, welcome back everyone. So today we are going to uh, head up to the Friendly Arm Inn. Uh, we're going to go investigate the uh, corpse of our dead foster father here. Um, yeah. Let's see if there's anything out here. Hopefully we won't get attacked by anything. So this stuff, just more stuff to sell. We just got some more potions from a uh, MON, and we'll be uh, let's uh, kind of consolidate some of these. This, these are really good. These are oil, oil of speed. Uh, make you attack a lot faster and run around a lot faster. But they don't last that long. So, okay, and we also got a letter uh, from Gorion here. Uh, or not from Gorion, but that was written to Gorion. Uh, here, I'll go ahead and read that now. Uh, my friend Gorion, please forgive the abruptness with which I now write, but time is short and there's much to be done. What we have long feared may soon come to pass, though not in the manner foretold, and certainly not in the proper time frame. As we both know, forecasting these events has proved increasingly difficult, leaving little option other than a leap of faith. We have done what we can for those in thy care, but time nears w when we must step back and let matters take what course they will. We have perhaps been in touch too, uh, touch too sheltering to this point. Despite my desire to remain neutral in this matter, I could not. Uh, I could not in good conscience let, conscience let, every e uh, let events proceed without some measure of warning. The other side will move very soon, and I urge thee to leave Candlekeep this very night if possible. The darkness may seem equally threatening, but a moving target is much harder to hit, regardless of how sparse the cover. A fighting chance is still all that can be asked uh, for at this point. Should anything go awry, do not hesitate to seek aid from travelers along the way. I do not need to remind thee that it is a dangerous land even without our current concerns, and a party is stronger than an individual in all respects. Yeah, we won't be having a party, though. Should additional assistance be required, I understand that J Jahira and Khalid are currently at the Friendly Arm Inn. They know little of what has passed, but they are ever thy friends and will no doubt help however they can. Luck be with us all. I'm getting too old for this. And it's written by a guy named E. Hmm. A little mystery there, who, who wrote that. Oh, we also got this uh, Wand of Magic Missiles. It fires a 1d4 plus 1 missile, damage missile at a... Uh, any enemy you choose. So we're going to head uh, east. And uh, it's usually a little bit safer if we stick to the road. Oh, oh, okay. So we got some we got some gibberlings here. These guys are like uh, beastmen. They're not really difficult, but uh, maybe at this level they, they might be a little bit tougher than normal. We should also actually rest, um, and then we can we, we can get our spells back. Uh, let's see if we can kill this guy. There we go. So it's usually better with groups like this. We kind of um, actually like kite them, uh, like kite the all the mobs along, and then kind of kill them one at a time. Oh, so it looks like my weapon broke. Yeah, it did. So there's this iron crisis going uh, going on right now, and I guess it makes uh, all the our weapons break that much faster. Oh, I think this is what I just do on the ground. Yeah, it's broken one. Bit. So, which is bad news, I guess. Everyone's been uh, telling us Hello about there. this iron crisis. Um, so maybe it's something we might want to investigate. So this guy doesn't really say much. He kind of just points us. Uh, in the direction of uh, the friendly arm in, and we'll uh, we'll just skip his t text there. I'll kind of read through all the uh, like important important ones, but uh, yeah, these guys are also just people. Uh, that's Zar and Monteron. Um, we can uh, group up with them. One's a mage and one's a thief, but they only come together. If um, you try and separate them or kick one of them out of the party, then uh, both of them leave. Unless, of course, you kill one of them off. Then you can separate them, but... 
Oh, that wonder. All right, so here's a old man uh, talking to us on the road here on uh, what looks like Lion's Way, and that's the name of this road. But he says, "Ho oh, there, wanderer! Say that course a moment and indulge an old man." It's been nigh unto a ten days since I've seen a soul walking this road, and I've been without decent, decent conversation since. Traveling nowadays appears to be the domain of either the desperate or the deranged. If thou wouldst pardon my intrusion, might I inquire which pertains to thee? So, this guy is, is kind of funny. He hasn't seen someone for ten, a ten day, he says. But we've seen, like, how many people was that that we saw just on the way here? Four different people? Um, let's say, let's say, uh, not to imply anything, but how do you measure up to your own standards? Pestering strangers about their mental state doesn't seem all that well adjusted to me. And, uh, old man replies, Point well taken, and thou hast answered my query most adequately. I shall think of thee as determined instead. I shall trouble thee no more, and thou art more than capable of this task at hand. North is the friendly arm in, where I am certain thou shalt find trustworthy trustworthy friends awaiting. I have said too much and taken too much from me, time from thee. Fare thee well. So that's kind of unusual, don't you think? Um, We're done. Maybe maybe something a little more uh, important that seems. Oh, looks like I'm getting a little. It's getting a little framey there. The battle and victory. It's okay. We'll take these out. Take these guys out. So. As you notice, a whole lot of gibberings just came. Um, that's because I have another add-on um, that actually makes smarter enemies. Um, so if if I uh, anger an enemy or um, or anything, and there's like enemies outside the fog of war, they'll actually call the enemies. And uh, okay, let's uh, cut these guys one more bottleneck in a bit. Um, they'll actually call other enemies um, that's in in their area and. Um, and I they'll all attack you. To you. So we might want to take a healing potion initially, maybe. Still got a few hit points. I think we'll, we'll be all right, a though. Dangerous mistake. A dangerous mistake. See, I'm using this uh, this other weapon now, and I'm really not uh, not so great with those. A solid hit. But we a can still hit. take these guys out. Little gibberlings. These guys are like the iconic uh, enemies in this game. They're like the f pretty much the first uh, the first beast or first uh, monsters that you'll uh, fight, and they're pretty much the easiest ones in the game. Also, there's also these little blue guys called uh, Exvarts, and uh, they're also really easy. So I'm just gonna go right up here and uh, get this little treasure here. If you hit Tab, you can see that that little spot just lights up right there. Okay, so here's a couple wolves. These guys are a lot more dangerous. Um, I think we will actually take a healing potion there. And then... Yeah, they have a lot more hit points than these, uh... Where, where the hell are they going? Oh, okay, I think that was part of another add-on that I have that makes them... Makes wolves and dogs act a little bit more like wolves and dogs, I guess. So I, I think if I if I hit them or dam do a certain amount of damage, then it kind of scares them off. So we're gonna follow the road. Uh, this just says uh, north to Friendly Arm Inn. Uh, Bear Ghost is a uh, is another is another town here, and that's uh, to the south. Just uh, keep on traveling on up here. So enemies in this game, they also do not respawn, so uh, once you clear out an area, those monsters are dead, So they're, they're, which makes it kind of interesting because, I mean, there is a limited amount of experience points in this game. So um, not only is there normally a level cap, I believe at level 10, um, but there's also an experience cap in the aspect that there's only so many experience points in the entire game. Uh, so this guy, Aelin, or Elm. I don't know how to say that. He says, uh, if you don't mind, please keep your voices down. There be BCs about, uh, with better hearing than we. Yeah, I know. We've just killed a bunch of them. Um, so we're just going to say, let them hear. Or, no, what's, what's a, uh, you seem quite at home out here. What's the most dangerous, dangerous thing you've seen? The most dangerous thing I intentionally went for? 
Uh, stalked an ogre mage for a few days once. Had a party of my own back then. Killed, killed the ogre, lost the party. Not really worth the trade if you ask me. I've seen more dangerous species, but usually over my shoulder as I'm making tracks as fast as I can. No shame in running when your life is on the line. Off with you now. I have a meal to catch. So that guy, just a little information there. I guess just telling us that there's some stronger, uh, stronger monsters out there for us to, um, for us to fight. So let's head up north here. Uh, head to the friendly arm in. Auto save and you get a little cutscene. Remember, this game is very old, um, so this is pretty much uh, the extent of the cutscenes and stuff like that. I mean, they're all pretty much this quality, um, but they're all right. They're they're pretty good. All right, so a little glimpse of the friendly arm in there. My best. So let's head on up here and. Uh, how about, uh, actually, let's uh, let's let's rest first and let's uh, recover these spells before uh, before I do anything. So that's the uh, sleeping thing that says uh, you have rested for eight hours. That's the um, standard amount of time uh, that we rest. Anytime we hit that that little button right there, it's it's the uh, the rest and recover sort of thing. We'll also cast healing spells if we have any that are memorized that aren't uh, that uh, we haven't done yet. So if I was down health then I would cast one of these and then I would yes. cover him right again, uh, right away again. So let's talk to, yes. talk to this person here. Yes? This is, uh, Joya. Hey there, you're new here, aren't you? Can I trouble you a moment? Um, uh, let's say, uh, tell, tell me what you need, but make it quick. Yeah, I think you'll do fine. I need someone to go club some heads for me. I was ambushed by a band of hob hobgoblins within sight of, within sight of this inn's walls. Robbed me blind, they did and I want to return the favor. I don't care about most of my things, but I want to get my ring back. My father gave it to me, you understand? So a little sentimental value uh, with the ring. And uh, I'll say, what, what is in it for me? Hmm? Nothing. I have no gold to give you. I was just robbed, remember? You'll be doing this out of the goodness of your heart. All right, thanks, I guess. Experience is always something. She, she says, uh, I thank you. The creatures were just north of the inn. I swear I could almost see them from the upper rooms. Bring my ring back here when you get it. You'll know, you'll know it when you see it. It's a flame dance ring. And very striking. Oh. Well, Alright then. Sounds like a plan. Very well. So we'll head out and we'll just, uh, we'll do this quest. We'll get, uh, kill these hobgoblins here. It's funny that I guess these guards don't want to give me a hand. That's all right. So these will be pretty much the the first real um, sort of humanoid monsters that will that will be fighting. Um, and hobgoblins, you know, they're uh, they can be pretty tough. Uh, it depends uh, what point in the game you are, but uh, eventually they get like poison arrows, and um, they'll just pepper you down, and then uh, you'll sit there dying from their, from their poison. But all right, now they don't seem too difficult. These guys look like they just have, yeah, they just have a uh, leather armor on. Nothing special. We're gonna leave their weapons. They're not really worth that much. We're just gonna put this helmet on. Oh, we already have one on. Never mind. Despite how gross that is, hobgoblin helmet. So this is an unidentified item. So we know that it's a magic item right away. Um, but we don't have an identify spell or scroll that we can actually use. So. Um, so we'll just we'll just wait on that for a moment. So neither of them have the ring. Uh, we'll just keep on heading up north here. I believe the one that we're looking for is actually uh, has a different coloring uh, color scheme on his clothes than the rest. Oh, all oh right. So here we go. Three more of these guys. About to be killed. Yeah, see this guy he's got like green. I believe that's the that's the one that uh, we're looking to kill here. We should be alright. Oh, oh yeah, okay that hurt. Seven damage. Okay, we're gonna run back a little bit and then we're just gonna cast this uh uh cure my cure light wounds, I think it is. 
Right there. Full health. Alright, he's dead. Two down. And three down. There we go, that's what I like to see. So yeah, there we go. Flame Dance Ring right there. Uh, it's the orange thing. Orange ring. Doesn't really, doesn't really do too much. Um, so we'll just loot all that stuff so that we can sell it. Let's head back to the inn. And uh, turn this quest in. Hopefully the pathing. Yeah, so I'm on my way there. Hmm. So the friendly arm in. This place is kind of like a... Um, more of an outpost, I think, and um, I, I believe that it's a, a gnome, a, a gnome couple that opened up the inn, and it just kind of grew into this, like, small settlement. These guys, as you can see, these guys are um, just regular guards. Um, you know, they don't belong to any factions or anything like that. Um, which is uh, different, different uh, here in, in uh, this area. Usually uh, the, the guards are they're, what are they called? They're called the Flaming Fist. Done. Yeah, and they kind of yes. uh, keep the peace around this area. So, uh, Joya says, I thank you. The ring was a gift when I set out on my own. Couldn't bear the thought of some smelly old hobgoblin having it. You're a good sword. I'll, uh, and I'll say to anyone, I'll say so to anyone that asks. Alright, and that gives us a, uh, a reputation point increase. The higher your reputation is, the lower the, uh, the cost, I believe, of, of items and in uh, markets and stores and stuff like that. So that's a good thing, I guess. I won't be uh, too concerned about it. But we also got 400 experience, which is good. Now we're just going to try and loot this place. Even though she said that she had nothing, I still would have taken 7 gold. Jeez. Alright, so uh, there we go. We'll look over here. and um, But I think that's just going to gonna be the end of this uh, video here. I think I'll ra wrap it up there. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. And... Uh,